so let's start the class so i'll be starting the class with the practical this is what we are going to do today packet tracer okay so i'm using windows today so that most of you are familiar with windows i so are you guys able to see my screen properly yes no dikh rahi hai sabhi ko screen theek hai good yeah so packet tracer uh, so this is again the same software what we used yesterday so we'll be talking about uh, today guys how to connect it two different networks okay how to connect two different networks but i want to give you some basic idea about ip addressing today before we start this topic okay so first of all please understand here like there are two versions ip version 4 okay and there is ip version 6 okay okay clear so in ip version 4 currently ip version 4 is also in the market and this is approx uh, you can say it is uh, 32 bit and ipv6 is 128 bit so basically ipv6 is a very big address we'll talk about this address okay but when we talk about ip version 4 okay in ip version 4 we have four groups okay and each group is called octet okay and each group has a value from 0 to 255 okay each group has a value from 0 to 255 because each group is also called octet because each group is of 8 bits that's why 8 into 4 is 32 like every group is of 8 8 8 bits and this is why you are getting a combination 32 bit so what is bit 0 and 1 is called bits 0 and 1 is called bits right so now when we talk about uh, the bits or something like that uh, what we call like every group is written down in a format like uh, how to represent or how to write 8 bits so 8 bits ko hum kaise likhte hain how to write 8 bits so basically these 0 and 1 are two number okay that's why in uh, binary to decimal decimal to binary we will use a u uh, like use of 2 okay or base of 2 every time we'll talk about two the powers okay so how to write eight bits so these four groups has power of twos and we will write here like if you see in a big format there are four groups and each group is written down like this to the power of 0 to the power of 1 to the power of 2 to the power of 3 to the power of 4 5 6 7 okay so same second group also written like that to the power of 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 zero okay the third group so right now i'm not teaching you ip addressing i'm just giving an idea right now okay if you do not want to make notes that's okay okay so the third group is also written like that to the power of 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 0 okay so now suppose i have ip address suppose i have an ip address like 192.168.1.1 so this is called this number is a decimal number okay so this is called decimal format okay but computer understand binary format computer understand which format binary format so how to convert this decimal format into binary okay so first of all you need to understand 2 to the power of 7 is 128 64 2 to the power of 5 is 32 16 8 4 2 let's write again 128 64 32 16 8 4 2 1 128 64 32 16 8 4 2 1 128 64 32 16 8 4 because 2 to the power of 0 is 1 2 to the power of 2 is means 2 into 2 is 4 2 to the power of 3 is 8 because if you multiply 2 with 3 times 2 into 2 into 3 2 into 2 into 2 that is 8 so this is all called powers of 2 okay powers of 2 
So now in the first section, if I ask you how to make 192, what you will, how you will create 192? You plus 128 and 64. You make 11 because you have taken 128 and 64. Okay. 192 ko kaise banayenge? How to make 192? Take 1, 1, 128 and 164, 128, 64, 192 and rest of the values make 0. Okay. This is your first block and you made 192. How to make 168 now? 128 plus 32, 160, 160 plus 8, 168 rest values 0. This is your 168 binary. How to write the binary of 1? All value 0, but in the last you have 1. Okay, where? Okay, I think there are 3 groups. I have to create one more group here. Okay, because we have 4 groups now. 1, 2, 3. So we need to write one more group here. 2 to the power of 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Okay. So that is also like 128, 64, 32, 16, 8, 4, 2, 1. So what is the binary value of 1? All zeros but in the last 1. Again you have 1. 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1. Okay. So that simple is that. Okay. So this is what you have learned just now. That is called decimal to binary. So abhi jo aapne padha hai kya hai? What you have learned? Decimal to binary. Okay. So let me take a screenshot of this so that maybe I can add this in your notes. Okay, so some notes I'm taking here also. I'll be sharing this link also. So sometimes some notes I have to take here also. Okay, I'll share this link with all of you also. Let me share. Okay, keep this handy with yourself. This link will never change, okay? Until unless if I feel like, okay, you can bookmark this link for your notes also. Okay, so there are two type of notes I gave. One is handwritten notes and one is your, this these notes. Okay, so if I show you my last batch notes, okay, so this is my CCNP or like this batch, uh, the previous batch. Okay, so you can see Day 0, Router Basic, Static. So this is like, maybe I'll talk about these things also. Okay, so this is how we prepare. We will share the books and all. So let me share this. Okay. Okay, so first of all, we are giving you, in your notes, I'll be giving you my CCNA book to you. Please check here and I'll organize these notes. Okay, so first book I'm giving you is my CCNA book. You guys can take a printout. It is hardly 100 pages and you will get a printout of normal A2 pages. Okay, so when you open the CCNA book, this one, the compressed file, something is written over here. That is networking's official guide. Okay, so that we made in a very simple way. So my book the Khadun Thodasa Yeri book. Okay, so this is the book. So you guys can read here. Okay, and uh, this is a color book and it is very simple to read. It has 144 pages. Okay, so if you want, this is very simple book. I can't say this will cover all advanced things. Okay, but it is a very basic book to understand the basic concepts because, okay, but if you really want to learn all details, then there is a Cisco book, which I am also sharing. Okay, so that is official volume one. I'll be sending you the volume two also once we complete. Okay, so you can read here like uh, this. Uh, this part is good here. Like you can divide your time in different, different parts and you can practice like that. Okay. Introduction to networking. You can read some pages here. Okay. But at least try to check the pictures. If you can't read, at least try to check what, uh, at least the key topics. Okay. We'll discuss about these things. So this is what we already discussed. Data, 
okay data will come to tcp then tcp information is added then it comes to network layer ip detail is added then it comes to data link layer data link added and then the data is getting converted into bits yeah this is what we have learned so far yes or no you guys are not excited about your learning i want mera bas chale na main bolu apne bachcho ko naachte raho meri class mein <laughs> okay so when you add a tcp data you segment okay ip plus data is called packet and when we talk about data this is frame so trust me when you learn the concept okay you will be able to understand cisco books because if you just pick the cisco book you feel like it is very boring and you can't understand but if you read this topic osi model you feel like oh man this is the first time i am able to understand one topic directly from the book because you know the concepts right आपको कॉन्सेप्ट पता है ओके विनोद सिर्फ आपकी आंखें दिख रही हैं मुझे कैमरा थोड़ा सा नीचे यस थैंक यू ओके ओके सो दिस बुक आल्सो आई हैव गिवन ओके सो दैट्स ऑलरेडी इन द क्राफ्ट नोट्स ओके ये मैंने क्राफ्ट में डाल दिया यू गेस कैन एक्सेस द क्राफ्ट नोट्स आल्सो फ्रॉम एयर ऑलरेडी द लिंक शेयर आई सेंड यू अगेन okay so this is the barcode also like if you guys want to take a photo of this because sometimes if you lost the notes okay you can scan this barcode from your camera and get uh, your notes again okay i'll give you 10 seconds to take a screenshot of this scan code 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 okay or the class recording is going on you can take later on okay good so everything is done now so we are all set now i'm sure you got the notes you got the uh, chat group also right only thing i think is left is maybe your labs that is not my responsibility that is my team responsibility i'll check with them and uh, definitely uh, we will update you regarding your labs okay if you have not got it okay so yesterday we have done few labs like small labs so we'll start from very beginning again so today what we are going to do okay i'm clear guys my voice is clear am i sounding like rj yeah <laughs> okay use good headphones okay so what i'll be doing today i'll show you how to access the router with the console cable okay and this can be possible done by with uh, this there are two windows can you see on the top logical and physical okay so i'll go to physical so now this physical window is showing you a city home city okay click on that city and there is a office here you can consider this is your office okay after that it is showing you some floor plan and basically this is your building and this is the server room so we have to do all our practicals in the server room right everybody knows router switches are in server rooms okay okay kiroj you are so smart man <laughs> you are enjoying okay so click on the server room okay so this is your server room so now tell me the first thing we have in server room is what network racks okay what is network racks basically there is a kind of almira type of something okay that is called a network rack okay it's don't laugh it is just example okay so network rack is basically it's like uh, you put all the network devices in these kind of uh, big almiras but we will call them racks okay we will call them network racks okay so this is network rack okay so they, these are available in different different sizes okay so that is 24u okay 
So 6U, 15U, 18U, okay, it can go up to 42U2 or more than that, okay. So what is this difference between all these racks? So basically U R U means unit, rack unit, okay. So some Cisco devices, suppose this is a Cisco switch, so it will take one U space. Kitana space le gai? That is called rack unit. It will take one U space. And if it is a big router, it will take maybe two U space. Okay. And maybe if you have a server, which is a little big, like Dell, maybe it is going to take three U. So now if you have only six U rack, so then how many Cisco devices you can have? Like one, two, three, four, five, six. You can have around six devices, but you do not actually add the devices without any space. You at least leave some space, right? So normally you can have around three to four Cisco switches here. Okay. In nine, you, you can have around four to five switches. You can add up to six also, but you give some space so that they do not heat. Okay. Samajara, let me give you example. Okay. That's, uh, okay. So let me add here. So I'm adding in the router and switch basics nodes. Okay. So these are rack units and when from here in packet tracer, can you see on the top guys, this small icon create a new rack. Okay. So let me show you again how I came to this physical window. Okay. So when you click on the logical window, okay. By default, your packet tracer is set to logical window. You click on physical window, then it will show you some, uh, this, uh, what we call. Okay. So it will show you some city. So click on the city, then it will show you the office inside office. It will show you the server room, click on server room. Now you guys are inside server room. Okay. Click on the rack. Okay. Can you see on the top? Create a rack. Click on that. You got a network rack. Yes. So now you can zoom in also and you can add uh, like Cisco switches here. You can click on the Cisco switches. Okay. Which model you want to take by default, like uh, 2960 is okay. You can take that. Okay. Click on that and just click here you will get the switch. Okay. So now you will add another switch, maybe. Okay. Two switches. Okay. So now you can just drag also like that. Okay. So you can see I'm talking about this. So now the switches does not have space. Okay. So you should keep little space between the devices. Okay. Just for uh, like uh, better airflow. Okay. Okay, so we got two switches now and also like we got a router. So we will go to this circle shaped device router and there are different, different model here, 4331, 4321, 1941. So if you ask me, what is the difference? It basically like when you buy a mobile phone, you check always his uh, mobile camera or mo maybe you check mobile RAM for gaming. Okay, so when it comes to router and switches, normally in networking field, we check throughput. Okay, I'll talk about what is throughput. Matlab, kitna capacity is ka traffic ko sambhalne ka, okay? How much traffic it can handle. Okay, so maybe 4331 can handle up to 1 TB. Maybe 4321 can handle little less. Okay. So that will discuss in the data sheets, how to read data sheets. Okay. I'll, it's not a part of CCNA CCMP, but I'll tell you, okay. How to read data sheets. It is not big topic. So I'll take one router here, 4331. And right now you can see the router is empty. Can you see that there are like, Bill, there are uh, like empty slots. Can you see that empty slots? Right. It is. So there is no slots in this router because this is how you get the router. This is like a base router, like base model car. Samjo. Okay. It is a base model. You need to now buy AC. You need to add music system like that. Okay. So it is a base router. You need, if you need more ports, if you need extra ports, you need to click here on the router 
okay zoom in okay so zoom in you can see click on the router here zoom in in the software okay you can obviously turn off the router okay and now you can add uh, some cover okay so i'll use some cover so that we will not see this blank uh, what we call i don't know how to cover this at least we covered half partial i'm not able to cover this it's okay but i'm just showing you like we can put a cover or maybe we can just uh, turn off the device and we can add some uh, slots like this okay can you see some we got some two extra ports here dikhra you can see here nm and i'm network in, uh, module okay so this is a, like nim which is network uh, modules okay so i got some 2k uh, modules okay we'll discuss all these things okay so we do not need right now so i'll remove just drag in the left side they are gone and if we use a cover drag from left to right we use cover okay so now the router is on everything is okay so now first thing what we are going to do so when you add network devices okay so first of all we are going to take the access of router okay so basically if you go to logical window automatically you can see all three devices in the logical window can you see that all my three devices automatically in the logical window yes dikh raha hai aap physical mein add kar rahe ho to logical mein apne aap ho raha hai so what is logical physical just logical means about how you think about the design logical topology means how you understand that topology okay like when you build your home if you are in home you can't see the map right but before like uh, building your home you have that na what we home map what we call naksha right so so just consider this is like uh, map of your home okay and this is like actually you are inside the home what is the actual world okay but for understanding always always we have to do practicals in the logical window clear okay tell me if you are in a server room if any if you join any big company and if if they leave you in a server room suppose agar main tumhe yahan chhod dun ye kahan tha okay suppose if i leave you here somewhere in the building so will you be able to understand how the devices are connected to each other now right now imagine yourself right now here will you be able to understand how actually the devices are connected it's not it's difficult but yes if somebody pays you a lot maybe you will track the cables and understand <laughs> right so but it is not a practical right which cable is going in this k port or okay it's a little and it's unorganized cable structure okay this is not a good uh, server room okay coming back to this so i'm uh, i hope you are clear with logical and physical window theek hai logical mein ek naksha dikh raha hai aur physical matlab actual devices hain theek hai so now if you want to take access of the router see if you want to take the access of this router we need a cable that is called console cable okay so that is called console cable so basically this is not a part of ccna ccnp so this is a part of like uh, basically kind of a network technician kind of things but at least you should know because sometimes technicians are in your company are freshers also right maybe you need to guide them okay go to router use the console cable so at least you should have a basic idea even you will not do yourself maybe but you will ask someone to do it for you i'll explain okay तो आपको क्या चाहिए यू नीड दिस केबल दैट इज कॉल्ड यू नीड दिस केबल टू एक्सेस एनी नेटवर्क डिवाइस ऑफ सिस्को दैट इज कॉल्ड विच केबल कंसोल केबल ओके तो क्या चाहिए अपने को अपने को चाहिए कंसोल केबल टू एक्सेस नेटवर्क डिवाइसेस ओके सो व्हाई दिस देर आर टू पेयर्स बिकॉज नॉर्मली इन ओल्डर डेज in older days this was the cable okay but you cannot add this cable in nowadays in your laptops because you do not have this type of port right you will add this cable in the router ye jo cable dikh raha hai na 
you will add this in the router or switches and this cable you cannot add in your computer nowadays because your computer does not have this port so what you will do you will use a connector you will use a converter basically which will convert this serial into usb okay so what is this so basically this is called like serial to to usb converter clear everyone up okay but nowadays the best thing like we can buy directly usb console cable also okay so in market directly console cable is also available where which is like one side is this and one side is like this okay but they are little costly which is around uh 20 30 dollars okay 1200 1300 ka hai okay वैसे दूसरा केबल 300 400 में आ जाता है okay so you got this type of cable okay so let me add here okay i am giving you all information which is required okay okay i hope you got the point so let me write here nowadays we can directly buy usb console cable okay so now even even cisco what they have done so cisco has given extra port also normally in every device you get one port but cisco is saying that i will give you this port which is normal console cable but i will give you some another console cable or another port cons, uh, what we call console port that is nowadays cisco gives extra console port which uses mini usb okay so this type of that okay so means directly you can plug this cable in the cisco devices and you can add this cable in your computer clear jaise mobile pe lagate hai na android mein theek hai so nowadays in maybe in future they will also use type c but nowadays uh, type c ki jagah kaun sa use ho raha hai nowadays this cable is used okay so now how to access the router so when you will ask Uh, suppose you are this location is delhi location or this is mumbai okay so maybe you are sitting in mumbai okay i'm giving you all real time examples okay please listen to me carefully so suppose this this is a network rack and this office like you uh, you have this guy here okay so laptop bhi de dete hain hath mein theek hai okay so this guy is in delhi and you guys are sitting in mumbai okay example samajh aa raha hai you guys are not in delhi you guys are in mumbai now you have to tell this technician as a network engineer you want him to take the console of this router to his laptop and with a team viewer with a team viewer application with any desk you will be able to see the router for the first time clear everyone okay khiroj yaar camera mein bahut distraction ho raha hai <laughs> change kar apni shakal apna wo face time pata hai na iphone mein apni shakal pe kutta bana rakha hai isne <laughs> main dekh raha hu main kisi doggy ko padha raha hu kya bol raha hu ab isko okay so so mera banda kahan chala gaya delhi wala हाँ सो लेट हाँ सो वी विल आस्क हिम वी विल आस्क हिम टू यूज द कंसोल केबल एंड यूज इन यूज ए कंसोल केबल टू एक्सेस ओके सो वॉट वी विल डू एयर वी विल यूज अ टेबल ओके और मे बी जस्ट यू कैन टेक एन एग्जाम्पल ओके सो दिस इज द यू कैन जूम आउट सो वी गॉट अल यू कैन सी ए टेबल एयर ओके एंड वी कैन ड्रैक दिस स्विच राउटर लिटल बिट लोअर okay because i'm going to place a laptop here okay so can you see what i did here maine ek table liya hai yahan se okay from here i took a table and on table i just drag the laptop like that like that like this clear 
So I do not need two laptops right now. So why I need a laptop or why my technician need a laptop? Again, he is back. Okay. So he is going to connect a console cable with this router. So what he is going to do, he will go to the cables. He will search. Okay. This is the console cable. Can you see the sky blue icon little bit? Okay. So he is going to add this cable. Okay. So now you can't see the console port in the router. Let me zoom in. Okay. So if you zoom in, you can't see the console cable because that is the back side of router. Yeah, router ka piche wala side hai, back side hai. So console cable is always in the front. Okay. So right click here and you can see inspect front. Can you see that right click here inspect front? Can you see? Okay. Sorry. It is, uh, let's see the back. It, it is showing me this is uh, front, but it's uh, back. But you click, you can see this is how the router looks like Cisco 4300 series. This is the power cable. This is the power button. And here you get two options. This is the console cable. Can you see that? Okay. This is the normal console and this is the USB console. port console. Yes. Can you see the both? Hari Om. Agar tu ne ab ek bar bhi awasi li na. Tere ko class se bahar kar dunga main. Ab mera ganda roop dekho ge tum. Sala awasiyon pe awasiyan le raho yaar. <laughs> camera hi band kar lo fir mere ko socho main bhi le raha hu kaisa lagega tumne fees wapas maang leni hai kal okay so console port and this is usb console so what i'll be doing or what my technician is going to do so he is going to add this console okay so in this port okay now the second cable we can connect on this rs232 so what is this RS-232? This is the, uh, like you can say old type of connector, what I was talking about in packet tracer, Cisco has given you this port, but in Dale, in real world, you have to use what converter. Okay. So you have console cable click karne. And now you can see the console cable is connected to my router. Okay. Let me show you again because it's not a rocket science. Okay. So I'll. Click here. I'll right click inspect rear. Okay. So use a console cable from here. Console cable pe click karne. Click on console cable. Then click on this RS-232. So the router is connected to the technician laptop. Now, okay. Clear everyone's just raise hand. If it is clear. Okay. So those who have not turned on their cameras, just be like that only. Okay. So now you got the, uh, like, uh, you connected your laptop with the router for the first time. Okay. Now you will ask him to give you some any desk or whatever, right? So you can ask him, okay, give me the laptop access. Okay. Suppose you got the screen of his laptop. Okay. You got the screen is of, of his laptop. So what we will be do, going to do, we will use a terminal software. Okay. We will use a terminal software in packet tracer. The terminal software is already there, but in real world, you have to use a terminal softwares like Putty terminal softwares. Okay. There are a lot of softwares available in the market. Okay. You can use any terminal software like secure CRT. Okay. There are 15 plus. Uh, a terminal emulator software. Okay. So you can use this CMDR or something. Okay. You can use this Zoc. You can use this con emu. So there are a lot, but the most of famous in industry is ping. Okay. Sorry. Putty and secure CRT. Okay. And Terra term. So these three are like very famous. Okay. Putty secure CRT and Terra term and kitty also maybe. Okay, so ye aap kafi use kar sakto, but because in companies like this is a paid one secure CRT. Okay, but putty is a free tool. Anybody can use that. And the Terra term is also like secure CRT, but in a free amount. Okay. So there are a lot of uh, tools you can use them to access the router. Okay. So now, so first thing, like how to access router. How to access router guys. So first in how to access Cisco devices. So the first thing what you need console or 
रोल ओवर केबल ओके इन देर इज अनदर वर्ड ऑफ दिस केबल कॉल्ड रोल ओवर केबल ओके सो वी नीड अ कंसोल केबल यस सेकेंड थिंग वॉट वी नीड वॉट अभी तो बताया टर्मिनल सॉफ्टवेयर ओके वी नीड अ टर्मिनल सॉफ्टवेयर ओके एंड इफ यू आर नॉट ऑन द साइट यू नीड अ इंजीनियर ऑल्सो राइट दैट ओके गो टू सर्वर रूम ओके कनेक्ट द कंसोल केबल एंड गिव मी द एनी डेस्क क्लियर एवरी वन क्लियर यहां तक सभी है अगर आप खुद ही उसी लोकेशन पे हो सपोज यू आर ऑन द सेम लोकेशन देन यू कैन गो टू द सर्वर रूम एंड डू इट यूर सेल्फ ओके बट इट इज रेयरली यू आर गोइंग टू डू दिस आफ्टर दिस बैच बिकॉज वॉट यू आर लर्निंग इज वेरी एडवांस देन वॉट इज दिस ओके बट इट्स ओके यू शुड अंडरस्टैंड वॉट आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट ओके okay great clear clear everyone is saying okay great so if i i, I miss the chat because uh, i can't focus on multiple things if i can't read your uh, what we call chat message so give console cable okay yeah yeah okay okay so we got the access so now we will click on the laptop we will click on the terminal okay and this is the by default setting of any software you will use you do not have to change the setting this is 9600 bits per second means my router will send the data to my screen in the on the speed of 96 bits per second 9600 bits per second you do not have to change any setting data bit is always like normally 8 bit parity none stop bits one flow control none okay you do not have to remember what all this just remember this is the by default setting you do not have to change okay so if you use a putty software kind of okay so if you connect it to router where is yeah okay so what option you have to use here you have to click on this serial okay click on that serial and you have to you can see the speed is also here 9600 can you see that okay so either you use any software you have to use the same setting okay so we need this software terminal software and, and this is how you access okay so i have added a screenshot here you guys can check okay so click on terminal okay and this is the first time you can see some cisco Uh, things here so you can see what cisco is showing you that this is cisco isr 4331 router okay this is one ru kitne unit le raha hai one rack unit it is taking just one space of the uh, racks okay so this is like it has 3 gigabit port it has nvram which we will discuss what is nvram today it has a ram also physical memory is ram okay non volatile nvram this is ram okay this is your flash memory size okay and now the first thing it is asking this is called setup mode because the router started because this is a new router it will start from which mode setup mode and every time you have to say to this option no because if you say yes it will ask you some random question it will treat you as a beginner and ask you some predefined question but you want to become a network engineer right so you have to say no because you are not going to automatically do the configuration we will do everything manually agar aap yes kar doge to router apne aap se question puchega kya karna hai bhai theek hai password set karna hai what what you want to do it is like if you say yes it is like auto setup mode so we do not want to get into auto setup mode we will say no clear everyone hmm so now you have the control now the first thing this mode is called user mode okay when you see this symbol this is called user mode okay and when you go to if you go to uh, like if you put a question mark you can see what commands we can run in this mode okay there are a lot of things we can do in this mode we can do log out we can ping the devices we can telnet the devices i'll talk about telnet and all we can trace route the devices okay there are a lot basic functionality you get in the 
user mode okay so if you go to this uh, okay so if you go to uh, my book only so you will see oversight model okay so let's so what is router router is a device which makes communication possible between two and more different networks right this is what you already know okay so which routers to buy there are many companies like cisco juniper networks huawei but definitely cisco has a big monopoly in the market because they are having like a uh, lot of companies are using Cisco devices. Okay. So now there are two routers which are available in the market. One is called fixed router and one is called modular router. So fixed router, map, kuch bhi add nahi kar sakte. you cannot add anything in the fixed router, but in a modular router, you can change some ports also. Okay. You can add extra ports in the modular router and they can upgrade like you can upgrade to no, 100 Mbps to 1 GB port also. Okay, means you can upgrade the devices. Okay, and in fixed router, you cannot add or remove anything. Suppose uh, there is a Cisco very old model, 1600, 1700. And if you go to Amazon right away and search here Cisco VPN router. Okay, so. Okay, so if you see here Cisco VPN router, this is a fixed router. This is a fixed Cisco router. You cannot add anything in this device. Got it? Samajara, basic router. This is not a very advanced device. This is just a basic router. It's a VPN router. I'll talk about what is VPN router. Okay. So okay, so we got to know this is fixed router, but if you need a modular router. Okay, that is very costly and you cannot buy from directly Amazon. You need to contact Cisco that I want 4431, which is integrated service router, which is also called ISR router. Okay, there are two models in Cisco. One is ISR and one is called ASR. ASR is very big devices, okay, which is used by service providers. Okay, so ASR buddy series hoti hai. like uh, it is like Lamborghini or Ferrari of the routers. It is like the advanced devices are ASR. Okay, so we'll talk about okay, but if you talk about 4431, okay, the same model you have in packet tracer also. Okay, so you can see here, and they released this model in 2014. But if you want to see the very latest model, you can go to routers. Okay, go to Cisco website and now like uh, the latest models are these routers. Like if you have a branch office, so you can take 8300 series router, 8200 series. So these are the latest models. Okay, maybe we will be getting a software upgrade of packet tracer. Maybe in future we will see 8300 in the packet tracer also. Okay, but there is hardly a difference. Okay, most of the time we have same. So you can see 8300. So I told you it is available in different, different models. So one model give you 10 GB of throughput means you can forward up to 10 GBPS of traffic. They get 10 GB IP throughput. Matlab, hum puri office ki 10 GB ki traffic is router se bahar bhe sakte hai. We can forward the combined LAN traffic up to 10 GBPS from the router. You can forward 12 GB. You can forward on in this 10 GB and 10 GB, okay, 10 to 12 GB, okay. But if this model is not good for you because maybe you have high bandwidth in your company, then you can go back, okay, and look for uh, advanced routers, okay. Maybe you can go to hybrid or maybe this uh, latest device service provider. So the big companies uses uh, this ASR series. And if you see the ASR series, Okay, normally the, these are the ASR series. Okay. So it is more than your height. Okay. So can you see the speed guys throughput? It that old that router what I have shown you 8300, it is giving you 10 GB of throughput. But if you see ASR model, the normal ASR is giving 160 terabytes throughput. It is 16 times 
और मे बी मोर देन दैट राइट बहुत ज्यादा है बहुत ज्यादा है The actual so there is a lot of difference in the speed. The same difference is in the cost also. Okay? नहीं तो हर कोई यही नहीं लगा लेगा अपनी ब्रांच में <laughs> दिल्ली चंडीगढ़ ऑफिसों में भी यही लगे हुए एस आर सीरीज ठीक है सो एवरीवेयर इज इट इज आई एस आर सीरीज एट्टी टीबीपीएस सिक्सटी फोर टीबीपीएस थर्टी टू सो यू हैव टू रीड यू डू नॉट हैव टू क्रैम बट एटलीस्ट यू शुड सी ओके नाइन नाइन जीरो थ्री आता है okay it is 240 gb 168 gb okay just to improve your general knowledge because i am sure when you go for interview some people are going to ask you on which models you have worked okay but even if you are a fresher they are considering you that you worked on some devices you did some practicals on devices right okay so at least you remember some uh like you can say in in packet tracer also like we are going to work on 4331 4321 1941 2901 2911 right so don't just remember the word or number you need to at least remember okay just simple let me cre- uh, tell you very simple thing five router model five router models and five switch models and write it down somewhere okay so you can take an example you can uh, search for 4331 4321 1941 and switch is also like uh, whatever switches you see here 2960 23560 3650 just talk about just search about these devices and read something about these devices because when you go for interview they ask you okay uh, what's the difference between 4431 and 4321 what you will tell them because it happened with me i have been to this industry from last 10 11 years we have given a lot of interviews and this is a normal question people ask okay okay uh, like if you are applying for a fresher job they will ask you okay on which devices you have done some practicals okay you can say i worked on 4431 i worked on 4321 okay just check what's the difference that's your homework okay it's not a part of my content i'm just giving you some advice to clear your interviews okay okay so now this is how you understand the devices and this is how like uh, the companies are actually giving you these kind of uh, things okay uh, so coming back to the topic okay so the routers are available in this okay and also the last thing i want to tell you about router that nowadays everyone is talking about that we are going in cloud okay we are not going trust me only servers are going we will go in cloud after 50 60 years okay we have still time to go in the clouds okay so virtual so you can see virtual can you see the virtual thing here dikh raha hai sabhi ko virtual yahan pe okay nowadays you can deploy a virtual router in the aws that's the big thing like you can deploy the 8000 v device in the aws directly you can go to aws and you can deploy 8000 version edge software device because all the devices all cisco devices are linux based because it has ios software inter network operating system that is made by linux only or you can say unix all the softwares in the world mostly they are made on linux platforms clear so now if you, this is just a hardware just imagine this is just a hardware okay and cisco just uh, modify the linux okay and tell this is not linux this is ios this is happening in the world right and cisco does not call himself a hardware company cisco bolta hai apne aap ko cisco call himself i am a software company why because they think that their software is best yeah something definitely many things are best okay so but this is uh, they do not say that we are a hardware company they say we are oems we manufacture uh, hardware plus we create softwares also okay this is their uh thinking or this is they how they pretend their company 
Okay, so now the virtual routers are 8000 V. In future, you are going to... So this is latest 2023 syllabus I'm talking about. Maybe if you watch my uh, five years back videos, maybe you do not see these kind of things. Because these are now actually uh, getting deployed in the industry. Okay, so you can see bring your own license. BYOL means bring your own license. It means you need to buy... First of all, AWS is going to charge you this amount in AWS. Well, it is taking around 9 rupees per hour. It is not that costly to run this router in the AWS. Okay, in a day, 9 into 24. 9 into 24. Chodo kya batao ya tum. Mujhe bhi nahi aara. Thik hai, leave it. Okay. So 9 into 24, whatever amount, then you can multiply with 30. Okay. So means uh, almost you are going to pay uh, like more than 900 something means very less amount. If you compare, if you want to deploy this router in your office, still you have to pay the electricity bills, right? Yes or no? And also the problem with the physical devices if this hardware gets fail and if it is out of warranty, then it is a problem. Yes. So virtual router is safe because there are no ports. There are no ports. AWS servers, uh, port and AWS servers and all these are going to be your router switches ports. We'll talk about someday. Okay. Uh, so this is what is going on in the industry. And right now there are other companies also like, sorry, there is another deployment, which is Cisco Meraki. Okay. Cisco Meraki. I'm going. So this Meraki is basically a device, which is uh, like a firewall also. Okay. And you can see this is a small image. You can run your entire company from this uh, technology called Cisco Meraki. Okay. I'll talk about these things. Okay, so this is the iOS XRV 9000. Suppose ISP is thinking about to deploy uh, in AWS. Suppose like you are a very big company. You can deploy a very big router software, which is called 9000, which is very big router. You can deploy inside AWS also, which is going to cost you a lot. Again, you are going to pay the same amount. Okay, it is not going to uh, pay less. Suppose this router, you are paying almost $10,000. Okay. Suppose you are paying for one router, $10,000. Maybe for this router also, you are going to pay the same. The only thing is that this is virtual routers. So this $10,000 is not the hardware cost. It is the cost of Cisco software, the license. Okay. So this is all. Uh, so small businesses also like uh, Cisco ISR 1000 router is also coming. Like you can buy this small routers 1000 series. Okay. Which are available. I think this is below 1 lakh and anybody can go for these devices. Okay. Okay. You can check uh, contact Cisco for that information. Okay. Okay. So these are small routers. Okay, which are called 1000 series. Clear everyone? Everything done, everything is clear about what is going on in the industry. Yeah? Okay. Okay. So now you got the things. So trust me, the if you learn the Cisco CLI, what we are going to learn now, because I want to tell you the proper use of learning the things. Because if I start teaching you why I'm putting all these stories, because if you learn Cisco 1000 or you learn Cisco 9000, 90% of the times you will have the same commands. 90% commands are same. Clear? So, tumhari marzi hai, like, jo tum aaj seek rahe ho, okay, whatever you are learning, maybe in future you are going to configure these kind of devices. Clear everyone. Now you understand why the CLI is important. Okay, got it. So let's start now. So consider now, this is the router. Okay, first thing. 
so you can come down to logical so you can see what we have done here like a, there is a router there are two switches okay and there is a console cable which is connected to this laptop we connected this in a server room right and there are two switches and we can connect some laptops here for my better understanding so basically what we are doing here we will be today we will be connecting two lan networks with this router today okay so i i am going to use a, this cable okay connect a laptop to switches okay now this okay so we'll connect one cable here okay okay so right now what do you see here the router is 4431 it has giga port giga port means 1 gb speed what is giga port whenever you see this gig this means 1 gb port and when you see this fa this is the fast ethernet and that has 100 mb speed so tell me which is fast g gig port or fast ethernet giga ethernet so this is called giga ethernet and this is called fast ethernet okay so now basic question i want to ask you all so if you got a internet access here okay suppose you got a internet access here okay and this internet connection you are taking from isp and this is 1 gb 1 gb internet speed so tell me when this laptop will access he is alone in office right now nobody is in the office so what speed he will get type in the chat yeah everyone is saying 100 mbps that's correct guys those who are saying 100 mbps because here here it is the problem because you have 1 gb here you have 1 gb here but this port the switch port is actually 100 mb and your laptop is also 100 mb so maximum you will get 100 mb traffic samajh rahe ho okay so let me give you one more example so 1 gb is like a big water pipe okay and here also we have a big water pipe but it is getting narrow here like this and also it is like narrow here so you will get the water supply in a limited format right you will get a water supply in 100 mb kind of you will not get this much of bandwidth because your cables or your ports are not able to forward that uh, like you need a laptop with giga port right so what we can do here i'm just showing you we will click here okay and i'll click on switch here again it is asking in which port you want to add a cable i'll go to giga port because in in this switch we have 24 fast ethernet port and there are two additional giga port so we added in the giga port so we fix the issue till here right we fix the issue till here and we will click here and we will add this port also to giga port yeah we fix the issue but in laptop we have which port fast ethernet so we'll go to this laptop okay in packet tracer the best thing we can change without any cost <laughs> right so we can turn off the laptop from here you can see this green light we yahan se band karna hai click here and we will remove this card and we will go to this maybe cge so you can see this packet tracer laptop network module 1 cge copper giga ethernet so we will add a giga port from here can you see that and we will turn on the laptop again and now if you add a cable okay it is taking fa01 you click here and take again in the giga port so now tell me what internet speed we will be getting if we have 1 gb speed now 1 gb bps सैयद यू आर सेइंग 1 जीबी बेस ना हां हां ठीक है ओके मे बी आई आई एम थिंकिंग यू वांट टू गो समवेयर ओके ओके 
Okay, so this is how you need to upgrade the devices, and this is why, like many many companies are using latest devices because from from their computer to their router, they need high end devices. They need all everything gigaport. That then only we will get one GB speed. But if this laptop, so right now, as a network engineer, your manager come to you. Okay, your manager because he is not techy. Mostly all managers are not techy. right and sorry if anybody you are manager okay so become techy <laughs> okay so manager will see this is manager laptop and manager is shouting at you oh man like you are a network manager okay i'm not getting internet speed so maybe he is using a good laptop okay because uh, first thing best laptops always taken by managers okay so we will definitely have good laptop okay manager has a good laptop but when we connect the cable so the problem is getting his cable his cable which is going in which device switch 0 if you go to the physical window if you want to see oh man cables and cables right so manager ka laptop kahan dikhna padega so packet tracer is something little funny also i'll explain uh, because when you do practicals in logical window na so what will happen in your server room it become a mess like this this is why uh, the packet tracer is a little funny laptop ke upar laptop kon rakhta hai aur aisa balance kahan banta hai yaar theek hai ye mujhe bas isko kiya is pe na youtube pe bana uh, like video banayenge hum funny video okay so i don't know which is manager yeah this is the manager laptop okay so you can see here it is written over here manager or something okay so you can see here this cable is going somewhere okay maybe i can't see maybe this one okay it is going somewhere here you need to change the cable so basically how we track this manager cable is going to fa01 and if you scroll up so fa01 is which port so this is fa01 can you see that fa01 yes can you see that fa01 so we need to plug this cable in giga port do you have giga ports here do you have giga ports then what you will do then you will say to manager we have to upgrade the switch because we have only two ports then he ask you where two ports are being used then you will be captured because you are using the giga port <laughs> right so basically in a uh, in a simple way like obviously lot of other people also want giga port so what we want we want this device to upgraded with all giga ports correct hame sare ports kya karenge we will buy a cisco device we will have which will have all the cisco giga ports so i don't know if a packet tracer has all giga ports or not so this is all fast ethernet okay so if you use this one it is also all everything is also yeah i think this device has giga ports i think these all are giga ports so we need to buy this device 3650 okay we will remove this device okay we will use this 3650 which is multi layer also means we can do routing also i'll discuss uh, advanced things but i am telling you the basics i hope you are able to understand these basics right because yahi cheeze ho rahi hain real world mein okay so if you are a ccna you know all the command it does not mean that you will fix all issues sometimes you have to use the basic uh, knowledge about hardware also that my switch is not supporting giga port then how i will give the speed right so i'll get a device now where i'll get all my ports are giga ports now you are happy manager is happy and cisco is also happy you invested in the latest hardware sir if manager and the employee access the internet from the office at the same time the one gb yes tell in that, that's common thing if you use a bandwidth which is like yeah you you are taking a connection from isp okay how to create isp here just hold on yeah so i'm just considering this is a modem okay kind of we are getting internet connection okay from isp and if we have 1 gb here okay so if all users are going to use 1 gbps so definitely it is going to divide 
everyone will not get one Gbps. Okay, that's basic. It will divide because switch actually divide the bandwidth. We can't use one Gbp. Like suppose if this guy is downloading a data on a very high speed, okay, with internet download manager, okay, or any software torrent. Okay, so maybe this guy is not getting one Gbps. Are you getting my point? So obviously we will not get one Gbps, but overall people have more speed than the previous one because earlier the issue was I was not getting more than 100. Even I am sitting alone in office. Yes, clear everyone. Okay. Okay, this is the problem many, many people are facing right now. What they do, I'm talking about in general also, not related to the real industry level. I'm talking about when you buy an internet connection nowadays, 1GB is available with many internet companies in India like Jio. Okay, uh, there is another company, I forgot the name, Spectranet. They uh, provide also 1GBPS internet. Okay, so many, many companies are providing 1GBPS. But the problem, they are giving you a router which does not support 1GBPS on Wi-Fi. Okay, so they will give you 1 Gbps. Okay, like you have 1 Gbps, but with cable, you will get 1 Gbps. But actually what they do, they will give you some kind of uh, device, which is like a, a D-Link 25 something model, which is very common, 25, 25 something. I forgot the name. Okay, Wi-Fi, this uh, is D-I-R something. D-Link A25 yeah, A25, I think. Haan, ye wala. Ab yehi de rahi hai, lo. Okay, suppose you got an internet connection okay, of 1 GBP, but now the D-Link is showing you 1200 Mbps. How much speed? 1200 Mbps. That is 1.2 Gbps. 1200 MB is 1.2 Gbps. 1000 MB is called 1 GB. Yeah. So how much speed we will get here? 1.2 Gbps. So ISP modem is connected to your Wi-Fi consider. Okay. So now you have, this is 1 GB cable going inside here. Now the Wi-Fi range is connected to your laptop and your laptop is not getting 1 GB speed. What, how you will troubleshoot? Because first of the thing you have to troubleshoot from the device level. Because here it is called 1200 Mbps. Always remember, always remember, this is the hard truth about all networking companies. Nobody, like people will come to know after so long that every company in the networking world is playing with the sentiments of people. <laughs> okay, let me tell you what they are doing. I lost my pen. Yeah, I got it. Okay, so basically, so 1200 Mbps, what this device is showing you is actually bi-directional traffic. Like he is saying 1200 means 600 Mbps you can download and 600 Mbps you can forward from this device. It means tell me how much speed you will get now. Got it now? All network devices. I'm not talking about this D-Link. If you go back, okay, if you go back, I have shown you the devices like ASR, remember? So ASR or 8300. So when this device 8300 series, which is telling you 10 GB throughput, tell me what maximum throughput you will get. Actually, how much speed will get in the network? Maximum 5 GB PS throughput. Because 5 is... Like you can forward and 5 GB can come inside the traffic. Okay. Throughput means bi-directional traffic. Okay. Bo both up and down. Both like uploading, downloading. We will not call this uploading, downloading. We will call this sending the data and receiving the data. Okay. Upload, download. We generally use uh, this word in uh, when we talk about internet. Okay. Clear everyone, all the internet devices, whenever you see a traffic, remember as a network engineer or designer, 
this speed is actually suppose you have 10 10 users or maybe you have 100 users and you have decided in your company that all 100 users you have an office of 100 employees and you want all people should get at least 100 mb speed ठीक है 100 लोगों को मुझे 100 MB तो देना ही देना I want 100 users to get 100 MB so how much speed you need in your company 100 into 100 what 10,000 yes so 10,000 MB is how much GB 10 GB Yes. अबे तुम्हें GB MB नहीं समझ आ रहे? Okay, so 10 GB. Okay, so we got the 10 GB. So it means we do not have to buy this device because everyone will get how what speed? If everybody will use internet, the router capacity will provide. If all will use internet. It will use 50 MB. So it means we need to buy the better version, maybe 12 or maybe 20. Okay. Means this router is not good for my company. We will buy some latest hardware because it's okay. If you will manage with 20, 30 MBPS each employee, then you can go because everyone will not actually download data right uh, at the same time. Okay. So totally depends on the throughput okay so you will buy some another devices like products i'll go to the router again okay i'm telling you how to select the correct device for your company okay so you will go to this uh maybe hybrid or industry router okay so the industry routers are basically rugged routers uh rugged means uh like you can use in a rugged employ uh, deployments okay or maybe where you need some uh, I just told on service provider. Ye to okay, explore branch routers. Maybe we need latest, uh, like better device than this. Okay, maybe we will go to this uh, 4000 series. And 4000 series can give me 20 GBPS speed or maybe more than that. Okay. So you can see here. 1.2 GB, 2 GB performance, 10 GB plus performance. Okay. Or X player router selector. So in many, many, uh, like in Cisco websites, you will see this, uh, router selector, uh, thing also that what kind of a, a speed you need. Okay. Or like how many LAN ports you need. Okay. That you need up to 20 GBPS traffic. Okay. Maybe you can search here and now these models are. Uh, recommended to you that you can go for this NC520 or maybe NC540. Okay, so this device can give you more throughput because this device is giving more than 20 GBPS of traffic, maybe. Okay, so means you need to research or even you can call Cisco, they will help you that what device you can buy and uh, you can ask him for all the options. Clear everyone how to select a router, how to. You know, so now the thing is like, uh, we will delete these devices and now we will be connecting this. Okay. I'll clean this. Okay. Leave it. Okay. So we got this design and we need to configure this. So, uh, I'll be using a subnet here. Maybe I'll be using. Uh, like 192.168.5.1. Okay, so you can use any IP here. I'm using 5.1. Okay, so you can see 5.1. I'll be giving this IP address to this interface. Okay, so what do you see? Router has cables on every cable on router cables. Okay, so these are called ports or you can call them interfaces. So we need to give IP address to this 5.1 and we will give a 5.2 IP. Okay. We will give 192, 168 to this laptop. 
it is just i'm not giving ip here i'm just changing the name of device but actual ip you give inside the laptop okay go to desktop ip 5.2 and you need to set your gateway 5.1 because you want to go outside the network so default gateway is basically your router ip default gateway is your router ip 5.1 is your default gateway so 5.2 i am assigning to this pc so 5.3 i am assigning to this manager laptop okay so now tell me if i go to manager laptop 5.3 and my gateway is going to be 5.1, same. Okay, because they are in one network. So can you say, okay, so this is my one LAN network. Yeah. Okay, we can use some. Okay, so you can say this is your LAN network, right? Left side, there is one LAN network. Yes. So router is going to connect to this LAN network. And in the right side, okay, 5.1 I'll assign to this GIG00 cable. And on this side, we have to use a different network. Maybe we will use 192.168.56.1. Okay. Okay. Remember the binary number is remember the binary numbers of this address. We'll talk about all IP addresses also. Okay, so 6.1. My 6.3 and how to give IP click on the laptop desktop IP 6.2 and the gateways without gateway do you think computer can talk to another network no okay remember if I'll show you tr uh, one troubleshooting step also so I'm uh, not giving default gateway just for a reason okay I'm not giving default gateway to this laptop Okay, so this is 6.3. Okay, or can I use the same IP? What we, IP we have given to router? No, because that is called duplicate IP issue. Okay, so duplicate IP issue. So I'll use 6.3 or something like that. Okay, and what you will use to remove duplicate IP issues in your company network? Interview question. What technology you will use to remove the duplicate IP issues in the network DHCP. Okay. I'll teach you DHCP, but right now I just got it in my mind. That's why I'm telling you right away. Okay. So duplicate IP se bachne ke liye kya kara jata hai company mein DHCP servers ko use kiya jata hai. Kyunki wo automatically IP dete na. DHCP gives automatically IP and they maintain the database table that which computer, which IP. That's why DHCP is like uh, uh, very important for a company networks because to avoid the duplicate issues. If a router and computer have same IPs, then what will happen? Your LAN network get like almost uh, get a lot of issues. Okay. Okay. Many tum. <laughs> okay, so 6.1. So we got 6.2, 6.3. And how to make uh, this kind of a boundary? Okay, we can use this draw rectangle. Okay, so I'll take your favorite color. I think your favorite color is pink. So. Okay, so just to use any color. Yeah, it's not mandatory. Okay, so. 6.1, 6.2. So this is just, I'm telling you that there are two LAN networks right now. How many LAN networks we have right now? Two. Okay. So we will be going to configure this. Okay. So how to configure this? I told you I'll go to this laptop because this laptop is connected to the console cable, right? Which cable? Console cable. This laptop or this technician laptop is connected. He's in which room? He's in server room. Okay. He has all access. Okay. And you can save this topology. Okay. Just to tell you that I have uh, just designed the network. I have given IP, but whatever next step I'll be giving you, you need to.
told on okay so i'll be uploading this file okay where i have saved here so whenever you i recommend you before uh desktop assignment okay so we will upload here okay submit i'm not saying submit or something okay it's your call but at least do this okay so this is your packet tracer file you can click in download and directly you do not have to do anything just open this because uh, once you complete the lab then you can start creating your own labs at least focus on the commands okay so now laptop is there you click on laptop go to terminal okay and you go the router access right yes or no yes so what we will do here i would recommend you to always use a notepad because notepad will give you the real feeling because you are actually understanding the commands okay so i'll use a normal notepad and all good engineers they write the configuration before doing in a router okay so this is what we do in the real time also so what we will do here the command is like we will go and say enable okay because the first time when you access the router okay we will say enable okay so you are in different mode this mode is called privilege mode okay so ye wala jo mode tha this mode is user mode this mode is privilege mode okay okay kaun sa mode hai this is which mode user mode and this mode is privilege mode privilege means giving permissions privilege mode okay so privilege mode so then after that i'll go in the late advanced mode that is called global mode by typing configure terminal okay so these are the th two things enable and after that configure terminal okay so first thing what you have to do enable on a router then you have to say configure terminal so then you are in the advanced mode of a router configuration after that which interface is this which interface is this gig000 you say interface gig000 then you say ip address what ip we have to give here 192168 5.1 then no shut down okay and the same thing you can copy paste the same thing right you can copy paste the same thing okay you can give here ex, uh, like same gi0001 and here we have to give what ip 6.1 okay if you want to change the device name okay you can give a command here host name you can give a name here this router is a delhi router right delhi gateway how simple is that you just you just got to know how to connect two different networks कोई भी कमांड इसमें लग रहा है कि मुश्किल है इनेबल ओके लेट मी राइट डाउन इन डायरेक्ट इन द राउटर नाउ ओके सो वी विल गो टू द राउटर फर्स्ट ओके एग्जिट यू कैन गो विद एग्जिट ओके समटाइम्स व्हेन यू टाइप रॉन्ग थिंग्स ना राउटर विल गिव यू सम दिस एरर ओके सो डोंट वरी यू हैव नॉट एक्चुअली डन रॉन्ग थिंग सो बेसिकली राउटर इज ट्राइंग टू फॉरवर्ड डेटा टू डीएनएस एंड ऑल्सो यू हैव टू वेट फॉर uh one or two minutes in the real world also okay to kabhi kabhi ho jata hai okay in packet tracer like you can remove this by clicking this button fast forward 
Okay, but in real world, like you cannot eliminate this. Love deep. No, nothing will work. You just, I would recommend you to wait for one minute. Because if I teach you right now in real world, it will not work. Then you will come to me. Oh man, this command is not working in real world. Okay. So in real world, the routers will take time. So there is that thing like when you do commands, you can give a command like no IP domain lookup and all. Okay. So it is fixed now. Okay. And it will. Okay. So now we will say. So this time, like this is the first thing you see router enable. You type enable. You come in which mode? Privilege mode. After that, you type configure terminal. You come in global mode, advanced mode. After that, you can change the device name, host name, Delhi gateway. Okay. Clear? Clear? Eh? After that, you say interface. And also the best part of Cisco CLI, you can use the tab. Tab will help you to complete the command. Like when I say enter, then tab, it will write for me interface. Tab button. Okay. Interface. Then I say GIG. GI tab. It is written, completed the command like giga ethernet. Okay. Then you can say 000. Okay. Or you can use a short form also like interface. GIG 000 also. Okay. This is the same thing. Clear? Okay. So interface giga ethernet 000 IP address tab 192, 168. 5.1.255.255.255.0 because this is called subnet mask. You are telling your router also that you just check the first three parts. Okay. Enter. No shutdown. What is this command now? If you do not understand this command. So this command means enable the interface because shutdown means shutdown and no shutdown means enable. This is little weird in Cisco. No shutdown means enable karna. Okay. In Juniper, it is like enable interface, something like that. Okay. Enable or something. But in Cisco devices, like you have to say no shutdown to enable the router. So when you enter this command, you can see we got a message that Giga Ethernet 00 change state to up. Yani hamare interface pehle band tha. Earlier it was shut down. Now it is up. Okay. Now. You can give here exit also if you want or directly, if you know the command directly, you can go to the interface 001, but you need to type the correct spelling interface GI001 and now IP address 192.168.6.1. Ahmed, the, the class is getting recorded. You can watch this later on because uh, it is so simple. No shutdown. Okay. You have to revise this. This is very new for you. Okay. Do not think that you will understand in a one go. Samjaro. These are like little basic commands. You need to practice. Okay. So let me write down again. Okay. So I'll remove all the configuration. Let me write it again for you. Okay. So sabse pehle, first thing you will enable the router. After that, what you will say, configure terminal, configure terminal. After that, you change the device name, like host name, Delhi gateway. Okay. After that, you say interface GIG 000 IP address 192.168.1.5.1. Okay. Subnet mask, no shutdown to enable the port. Okay. And after that, you say interface GIG 001 because on 001, that is different port. I'll give 6.1. No shutdown. Okay. That's it. And last thing I would say, just to say exit uh, like two times and say write. Write command is used to save the configuration. Okay. So means we'll go to the router and remember we have done everything exit, exit. And here you type write, write means save the configuration. Because if you do not type this, if you do not type write, agar aap write command nahi doge, kya hoga? what will happen if router reload, 
the configuration will go on. Remember the boot up process, it will load NVRAM because when you save this configuration, it will go in which RAM? NVRAM. So when you save the configuration, router has two memories. One is called right now RAM. Okay, when is one is called NVRAM. Okay, so RAM is your running configuration. RAM is your running configuration. Okay, so means when you type the commands, everything is getting changed in RAM. But when you save the configuration that goes in NVRAM, that is called startup configuration. So tell me which configuration load when router gets reload. Startup because running a RAM is called temporary. This is temporary configuration and startup is your permanent configuration. Clear everyone. So if you do not save, if you do not save, Router will again go back to zero configuration. Rajkumar. Okay. Clear. Very easy. Okay. But right now you can see G00 is showing me this red uh, something. I don't know why it is. Uh... Okay. So we have to check what issue we are getting. Okay, can you see one side when you enter this command, this is for troubleshooting, show IP interface brief, I would recommend you to uh, note it down somewhere. Okay, so extra command. Okay, extra commands to check. Okay, so you can go to this privilege mode after enable wala jo mode na, after enable, you can run this command show IP interface brief and you can see the opposite side is down. Can you see that down? And in packet tracer, you do not have to add a console cable because it is a easy software to learn. You just click on the router and directly you can see CLI. But I am just telling you the actual way in real world, we connect console cable. We go to terminal and this is how we access the routers. Okay. But slowly, like you will understand the way now it is not mandatory to use console cable. Every time you just click on the router. Okay, so you can see 5.1, 6.1 and other side is down because the switch we have taken here, the switch we have taken here. So currently if you see, there are no power here. Can you see there is no power here? So these are power modules. We need to add AC power supply in this device because this is the latest uh, kind of devices or layer three. So we need to add two power supply. This device comes with the two power supply because if one fail, the another power supply will help you to keep running the device. Okay. So now you can see we added the power. Okay. And now the device is getting boot up. So you can see the ports are coming up now. Can you see some lights now green and all. So just wait for some time. And when all the everything is fine. So just hold on for some time. Okay. Or you click this button if you can't wait. Okay. You can see all the lights green. And now if you go to 5.2, I am in 5.2 computer. So tell me, can I ping 6.2 now? Remember in 6.2, we have not given what? Default gateway. So without gateway, the 6.2 computer will not reply me. When I give a default gateway here, I'm telling you that how important it is. When you give a gateway, and when you try, you can see in the last packet, we got a ping, right? So now if you try, it will ping. So it means gateway is very, very, very important. Without gateway, you cannot access different network. Okay. Without gateway, you cannot access different network, but without gateway. Okay. So uh, tell me one thing more. 6.2, 6.3 can talk to each other if I do not set a gateway. If I do not set a gateway, can these do both devices can talk to each other? Hiroj, yes, they can talk. Listen to my question. I am saying that LAN network में दो computer आपस में बात नहीं करेंगे gateway के बिना. 
okay both will work because router is actually used to go to different network this is what, what is the router definition router is used to connect two different networks yeah okay so whatever things we have done okay so i'll be giving you configuration also because i do not want you to just watch again two and a half an hour videos again okay so what i'll do here so this is your homework or whatever you want to call at i'll give you some extra topics also for your uh, like learning already you have pre recorded videos right you can start watching them okay so this is uh, we have done the first practical so i'll say page okay first practical okay so this is the practical we have done okay so let me add the packet tracer file also here so that you guys uh, the name was assignment something right you can download it from here uh, so you can download it from here packet tracer ka file okay and let me add the commands what we have written here see i'll give my 100% okay so this is the command you guys have to do the same thing you guys can set up in the configuration okay so this is your command just scroll down okay when you open this notes right because i already shared these notes with you okay if you do not got it let me share it again with you okay to ye mil gaye aapko notes okay so you can see this is how you are going to see the notes and you scroll down you can see first practical here click on that okay you can see your practical here you can see all your commands here we use write command during exit no after exit because why i am typing here exit because when you are in the interface mode okay suppose you are in the interface mode okay so how if you type right here it will not work na that's why exit exit and in the privilege mode the right command will work that's why i have given two exit commands okay okay so guys like you can ask me questions if you have all i'm sure like you got hardly have a question but still if you guys have asked me yes sentel you had a question in the beginning ask me hello yes yes sir sir that was on yesterday's class sir yes it okay ask to ask me. yeah yeah obviously every <clears throat> so when i say ask ask me anything then <laughs> okay right? sir yeah. uh... that is i just want to check my understanding sir uh, let's say in yesterday scenario we connected four laptops to a switch mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so let's say that the computer's arc entry is still there mm. the arc entry computer has an arc entry mm. it has the arc entry scenario mm. Mm. and in the switch it does not have the mac mac entry in the switch mm -hmm. so when pc A PC one is communicating to PC two. Mm. The switch will get that packet, mm. and it will broadcast. Mm. Am I right? Yeah, if switch does not have MAC address, right? Yeah. Yeah, it will broadcast, right? Yeah. In another another scenario, mm. let's say the PC has no MAC. I'm sorry, the no ARC table. Mm. I'm mm. starting from the scratch. Mm -hmm. but in switch let's assume that it has the mac entry of all the devices mm -hmm. so in that case the computer is going to send an arc packet to the switch broadcast broadcast yeah. mm -hmm. and the switch you will check the mac table mm -hmm. in that scenario i'm 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 just confused 
will it uh, will it discard the packet sent by the computer and then initiate the broadcast because as as the computer has so i the- would i would say so right now you guys all understood about little bit of packet tracer right so go and do the same thing and check in the simulation mode what is going on okay okay because this is the best way to learn okay okay because till the time even if i say and still you are in doubt so it means you have to check yourself also one time but yes it will broadcast it will not discard any packet broadcast discarded when they ask okay where is uh, 1.2 1.3 okay so once we get the mac address okay you can check practically and uh, let me know also what you have understood okay yeah okay. lovdeep um my question is regarding uh, today's um practical we just did you know we mm-hmm. we have to use the default gateway mm-hmm. uh, otherwise uh two networks can, can you just share the screen please um uh, the one yeah, yeah. we just yeah. did, please. just hold on yeah hmm. yeah for example we are actually um the orange and the pink are two different lands mm-hmm. um, so they are connected with that router so for mm-hmm. example if uh, there is another it's actually a there are two routers you uh, connected through internet and there is you know obviously different computers are connected but mm. in that in that case what would you use the d- default gateways for example if uh, internet is also in there you know what i mean yeah yeah got it got it so basically you are saying behind this router there is a internet router also right correct and then mm-hmm. and then there is another computer connected to that router say 01 and mm-hmm. how, what what would you use the default gateway so in this case like if it is a wireless or any kind of a router which is isp router right so this is another router so your computers will still have this router as a gateway these computer right. will have this, uh, so remember one thing one rule all your lan users and the gateway should be part of same network can you see 5.1 5.2 5.3 yep. so we can't give even this router is not in my network we can't assign this router as a default gateway because that's not connected to me but if there is a user here somewhere you are asking like this okay if it is connected to this router so Correct. definitely we we need to have one ip here and one ip here which should be in the same network so the immediate router will be used as the yeah 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 gateway. yes yes the nearest router will work like a default gateway for me got you okay thank yeah. you okay hello sir yeah uh, sir ek bar uh, uh, ye hum laptop ko jaise ip assign karte hai na hmm wo aur uh, usme matlab cli command ka ek bar kaise matlab aata hai wo dikhaoge na okay click on the packet tracer laptop okay okay so there is a by default this window now you click on desktop desktop okay and now if you want to use command prompt okay this is okay. the command prompt where you ping okay and this is the ip configuration first option where you give ip okay sir okay okay you close from here again you back to this window you ping from here close okay. this window okay this is how you access okay sir thank you okay yeah uh, hello sir yeah hello sir am i audible yeah yeah audible sir can we get uh, internet access through the console cable no okay. console cable cannot provide you internet access that is only to access the cli okay okay okay, okay. It, also, it's also like be... it's like you are asking me does hdmi cable give internet connection okay hdmi okay hdmi hota hai usse milta hai internet नहीं और फिर इंटरनेट के एक्सेस के लिए दूसरा केबल यूज करना पड़ेगा ओब्वियसली नॉर्मली सर्वर रूम एंड सी हाउ मेनी पोर्ट्स वी हैड इन राउटर लाइक टू पोर्ट्स राइट कैन यू सी दैट इन द बैक साइड ऑफ राउटर वन केबल इज गोइंग टू स्विच जीरो स्विच वन एंड अनदर केबल इज गोइंग टू स्विच टू 
बट द कंसोल केबल इज एक्चुअली इन द कंसोल पोर्ट दिस इज नॉट अ डेटा पोर्ट दिस इज नॉट फॉर डेटा ट्राफिक दिस इज ओनली टू एक्सेस द डिवाइस दैट्स वाई इट इज कॉल्ड कंसोल पोर्ट दिस इज कॉल्ड मैनेजमेंट पोर्ट मैनेजमेंट मीन्स एक्सेस द डिवाइस रिमोटली और एक्सेस द डिवाइस बट ये जो केबल दिख रहा है सो दिस इज माई गीगा पोर्ट ओके सो दिस इज फॉर डेटा ट्रांसफर थ्रू द राउटर ओके प्रशांत सर जस्ट आई वॉन्टेड टू नो दैट लाइक देर इज इन नेटवर्किंग रैक लैब can mm-hmm. we create uh, on lab like uh, our there is a only default lab on that we'll uh, get a practice so basically we have more than 150 plus labs now let me know what lab you want i will create it for you because we do not give access to create your own lab because last time one student has deleted all the labs of networkings okay okay okay, sir. okay so sir. that's why we give you access to go to any lab open any lab do whatever you want but if you want to create your own lab you can ask a support team whatever design you want we will create it for you within just within one call okay within one day you will create your own lab okay because already okay. if this is the server of ccna and if you click on ccna okay there is no one in the world who is giving you these much labs for ccna first of all maybe they will give you one lab you just do all things on one lab only okay so there are already lot of labs here okay like ccna default you can see in this lab only we can do all the ccna practicals but i am not saying that we will do everything on this lab are you getting my point we can complete a ccna topics only in this lab we do not need much routers and switches because we already have two routers two switches four computers isps okay so you can use this lab for your better understanding okay but yes there are a lot of other labs also which you can use for your practical you can see this lab which is like connecting four locations okay like delhi mumbai chennai kolkata together and uh, what is objective you need to ping all locations with each other okay so there are a lot of other labs also okay so you can check inside trainer folder there are few other labs so there are in most of the labs are in the ccna folder okay so like interface ospf real lab kind of you can see uh hello sir yeah yeah tell me sir is there any difference between the console and ethernet cable no no cable is made of same material बट केबल को कैसे बनाया गया द वे द केबल इज मेड दैट इज द डिफरेंस कैन वी यूज इथरनेट केबल फॉर टेक द रिमोट या कंसोल सेशन कंसोल केबल इज यूज्ड सी वी कैन टेक डेफिनेटली एक्सेस वी कैन एक्सेस द डिवाइसेस विद इथरनेट केबल बट वी हैव टू इनेबल टेलनेट ओके सो विल टीच यू व्हाट इज टेलनेट ओके सो देयर आर सम कमांड्स राइट नाउ आई एम नॉट टीचिंग आई एम जस्ट शोइंग दैट इन फ्यूचर i'll show you uh, that there are some uh, concepts like uh, telnet which we will configure okay like this like this or i'll show you in future i'm just telling you right now what you are asking me okay so we configured something okay just forget what we have configured but in future i'll be able to access this router like from here i'll say telnet 192.168.5.1 okay so the password is cisco and you can see delhi router i can configure from my laptop can you see that yes okay so we are using which cable right now so ethernet cable normal you do console cable kab chahiye na when you need a console cable when you are when you set up the router for the first time okay. are you getting my point once yeah. you set up the first time you can set up this telnet and once telnet is configured you can access the router from anywhere you do not even have to call your technician to go to server room only for the first time you have to ask him to connect the console cable because this is a new router with zero configuration 
uh, sir suppose router is dead then in this condition what will be happen then obviously you have to be on the site if router is dead man then obviously router jab chal hi nahi raha to jana hi padega wahan hai na definitely sir okay. i have a question sir yeah yeah sir in this topology sir uh, the left hand side you have the multi layer it means layer 3 mm -hmm. so currently okay let me correct you here uh multi layer this is not multi layer right now till that time i do not configure this router as a multi layer this router will not work as a multi layer by default it is like a normal switch like this okay you do okay. not need any configuration if you do not do any configuration this is like a normal switch okay so only configuration so if we don't do any configuration here it it is acting like an l2 switch yes so what i do is uh, i assign i i i just uh, no shut down the two ports g101 mm -hmm. and 1002 mm -hmm. and and uh, create create it as an access port that's it that's it right on both the switches yeah, yeah. so in in switches in switches okay. all the ports are by default on in routers all the ports by default down okay so no shut is not required no or... no 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 switches does not require no shutdown commands only in the routers we give no shutdown commands okay so just okay like because that, can I because switches the... switches are make the ports up yeah so switch. basically switches are called play and plug devices you do not have to go suppose you plug the cable in your laptop you do not have to call network engineers to turn on the switch ports again and again right so router is a main device which is connected to internet and it is a device to actually configure so sometimes switches are just plug and play uh, something it is like uh, like when you use a pen drive you just add in the laptop and you get able to access the pen drives right so it is like you do not have to enable the power in the pen drives and all so some devices are made for ease okay for easy access and you can consider switches are made for easy access so just plug the cable and start using it uh, but sir, for... yes mm -hmm. yes go ahead sir yeah yeah but yes if ports are not in use if ports are not in use you can the ports which are not you in use you can shut down those ports for security if you want okay and both in both in both let's say uh, we are having l3 switch here and l2 switch here mm -hmm. uh both both to manage both the switches uh the ip can be assigned to the switch right does, yeah, yeah we does... can assign in future okay sir thank you okay we will use interval and a topic there is a vlan interval and topic where we will give ip addresses to switches also okay 